What got, what gave me the idea to make a robot out of like an undead kind of figure anyway? Something that would seem like a sarcophagus or something, but no, you decided to make a whole robot master out of the idea. You asshole. Anyway, let's go to Feral Man in this uh freaking Egyptian like area. Oh god, get away from me! We'll have to see how this goes. Hopefully I can survive the quicksand. By the way, don't stay in them too long, you'll sink and die. Clearly. And welcome back everybody to more let's play Mega Man 4 of the Wily's Revenge series. This is your host, the MJ406. And we're Oh god B! And we're continuing our trek through uh Well, we're going against Wily again and the revived robot masters yet again. Hey, there's supposed to be something back there! Sorry. But anyway, we've got a lot to look forward to now. As we can see exactly what kind of crazy contraptions he has set up for us. I will say though, with the exception of Toad Man, he did save all the tougher Robot Masters in Mega Man 4 for this game. Actually, Mega Man 4, I will say, Mega Man 4 on NES was generally really hard. Like, that game was probably the most difficult of the NES era. Oh God! God damn it, he even has robot mummies that shoot their heads at people. Yeah, it's still better, better than any kind of reboot mummy. Too soon? Never soon enough with that piece of garbage, if you ask me. Oh, come on! Can't escape that shit! Haha, -ha, you can't give me a speed. Oh. Stupid assholes thinking they can kill me. Yep, see, now I have a weapon tank slot. I can fit up four of those as well. I have two pieces of an energy tank. Once I get four more little pieces, I'll make one whole E-Tank. Which, thankfully, getting a whole E-Tank won't ruin your progress on that. It won't be like, okay, well, you got a whole one. You don't need these pieces anymore. And I jumped into spikes. Damn it, and I'm at the beginning. Oh, grab the E-Tank. See, the pieces carry over. Well, you, if you get a whole E-Tank while you do have um, pieces and you end up getting the fourth one, they will get rid of the pieces. Well, you have an old E-Tank. You don't need the pieces, and, well, you can't fit anymore. Besides, I doubt they'd glitch their way around that one. I'm trying to remember. I'm pretty sure this is the only Mega Man game to have E-Tank pieces. But, you know, so they make them easy to come by, you know, it's fair. It's not like something you rarely find. It's like, geez, I can only find two of the pieces. What's the point? This one actually feels like I have to, ow, go on my way to not find them. I was about to say not what I wanted to say again. But yeah. I've been having a lot of fun in this series ever since I took pitch through it, and well, the Game Boy ones have been no exception. I mean, we're getting to the best of it because, well, the first three Game Boy ones were only okay, but the last two were great. And the, uh, the Game Boy Color ones for the, uh, X games, the Extreme series, well, they're almost cut and paste exactly. Like, I give I gave Flack for Mega 2 a 3 on Game Boy for being cut and paste of the uh, Mega Man NES games. Oh no. The extreme ones are literally cut and paste pretty much. The Mavericks, the way they fight, their stages, which are pretty much exactly note for note what they were in freaking the Mega Man X series. Particularly 1 and 2. And a bit from 3 for Mega Man Extreme 2's case. Oh god. <coughs> Oh, I had to sneeze. That sucked. I'm probably gonna lose my last life. Oh, that was not a good time to sneeze. When I had to go on those platforms that were gonna fall and made me not able to slide through that slit. Oh, God, that was an awful time for a sneeze. And yep, like I said, these games are forgiving. So, you know, you run out of lives, even if you hit a continue point, guess what? Womp womp. You gotta do the whole stage over. Never forget that. That's the only good thing about getting lives. I will say something that is a little better about Mega Man 5. I do find it easier than this game, the Game Boy Mega Man 5, but, uh, well, something I do appreciate is that the fact that in Mega Man 5 on Game Boy, if you run out of lives, you go straight to Dr. Light's lab. You can only go to Dr. Light's lab normally if you beat a stage or if you're selecting a level, but you gotta remember to do that. I think you gotta hit the select button. I'll have to double check that. There's the A. Oh, 
god damn it, I should have let sink a little. Well, our first game over. That came quickly. Like I said, you kinda if you wanna make it cheap and get that upgrade for Buster charge shot early, I guess you could force yourself to lose all your lives three times in a row, but Well, let's just say you won't prove you're worthy to do that. Basically that's seen as the uh, you know, you're a scrub. You need something that's makes it easier for you to get through this game because you suck at it. <laughs> and believe me, I say that as if that should be an insult. Oh, believe me. I had to do that for Mega Man 4 and Mega Man 5. I did say 5 is easier than 4, but oh boy, there are some hard stages. Now, I'll say this for Mega Man 5 in particular. If you think your knowledge of the previous NES games will be helpful, you'd be surprised. That's why people love Mega Man 5. One Game Boy, as do I. It's certainly the most interesting of the bunch. And that alone does give it an edge over 4. Like I said, I personally found more fun with 4, but maybe I'll have a second pain when I go through 5 again. 5 is very fun, though. Oh, God! Could you stop with these mummies? How many do you have? And how many heads do they have? Their heads have to either regenerate, or... The... I don't know. He has a big stockpile of heads lying around somewhere. Wily, find a better use for these guys. They're freaking just making them throw heads all the time. Come on, man. Just because you don't use your head doesn't mean they ha they have to to make up for it. Make them save their heads a little. The good thing is, though, you run out of lives, all the E-Tanks and stuff reappear, so, you know. God, the flashing! Please move. Oh, by the way, if you case you didn't notice, well, while you're taking damage, you can't get hurt by spikes. So, you know. If you want to use an enemy hurting you to get around some spiky territories so you don't die, that's one way to exploit the game's mechanics. Which, well, it's actually pretty pop it's actually a pretty popular way to exploit the spikes. Take damage before running across them if you have to. In fact, some of those exploits are used in the X series to get some upgrades early. I can save those when we get to that series, probably at some point next year. I'll have to see how things stand. The way things stand, I'm more likely for Tuesday and Thursday cycle probably going to do Crash and Spiral games for that instead of Monday Wednesday like last year. Do not do that, you asshole. Alright, at least I'll survive this time. I gotta remember to not jump into the freaking pit. I oh, should probably have Rush Coil ready because I think I know how to get this one. And I hate that. Oh, forgot about you. Now, let's get Rush Coil ready. Also, you're not refilled. That's upsetting. Okay. Help! 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 There we go. We got the A with no problem. Let's see what happens when I get all four letters by the end of the next stage. Probably. Just remember, you gotta let things lower a little bit, because the way your full jump works, you'll hit the ceiling, and if you hit a ceiling, you'll start dropping like a, you'll drop like a rock. You want to be very careful with how high you jump from. Oh god, that does not look pleasant. Well, screw it. Not worth it. If I had another rush thing, like rush jet, that would be useful. But since I don't, I'm not trying to die to get a life. So I'm going to lose anyway trying to get it. Oh, come on, you stupid... Oh, mommy. You're an asshole. Alright then. Your weakness is Bright Man, but I'll try you once with a buster just to prove my worth. So here we go. Probably the toughest robot master from Mega Man 4. That's saying something. Barrel Man. He jumps around firing a bunch of these uh, little shots. However, his true power is if he gets pissed and fires that strong thing into your half your health. Yeah, you gotta watch out for that. That's a fun thing about the Pharaoh shot. Since they introduced the charge shot in Mega Man 4, they even gave you a weapon that takes advantage of that. And let me tell you, it's arguably the best weapon in Mega Man 4, because it's devastating. It works well on the weakness that, well, the boss that is weak to the Pharaoh shot, as well as Wily himself. So yep, you can fire it normally in any direction, and diagonals are straightforward, or charge it and do the same. The Pharaoh shot is pretty powerful. 
You don't lose more ammo for charging it either, at least in this game. So it's pretty nice. It's, a, it's one hell of a weapon. Like, weapons throughout the games were inconsistent, but Floor was actually pretty good in that regard. Like, Floor did a really good job with its weapons. Yes, I can buy the S tag. Gee, stop sneaking up on me, Mega Man! You don't want to know what I'm planning for the future! Yeah, I don't think I do want to know what you're planning for the future. This is 130, right? 150. I don't think I need that, so I'll go the S-Tank. I didn't use this last time with her this game, but, you know, it's nice to have one hand. Just to show you, I have an S-Tank as well. You can't carry any more of this item, you idiot! You already have one! Why can't you give me more? You weren't built that way! You weren't built to have fun! What the fuck?! Good luck, Mega Man! Hell, only having one S-Tank. <laughs> Good thing I'm gonna make a robot can do four of those. What do you do there, ass? Well, all that's left is this asshole. Ring Man. Another one arguably the toughest in Mega Man 4. Like I said, Mega Man 4 is hard. Their bosses in particular are pretty tough. So let's see what happens. Ooh, give me that P-chip. Oh yeah, Ring Man, your space stage and friggin- Oh god! Please don't shoot me like that! Oh, those! Platforms are a bit of an annoyance. You land on them, they disappear one direction and then fly the other. Screw it, screw it, screw it. I do like this music track a good bit too. They even throw the mini bosses from Ring Man stage in the stage, I think. If I remember correctly, it's that goddamn hippo. Okay, that's how it is. The one on the dash lines are the ones that go from left to right. The ones on the solid lines are the ones that go from right to left. It's more subtly indicated in the NES version, but you know. Okay. If you land on the edge, it activates its movement. So be on the edge and wait for it to reform. Got it! Oh boy. Where's landing on the edge of the platform at all? Excuse me? There we go. Should I gotta race across? Or if I can deactivate until it reactivates so you have more time to walk across? Analyze your situation carefully. What? Don't want to get trapped under there with that thing. So please don't trap me with your stupid things in space. There's so many of these things like to be in space. Oh, God! Oh. Good thing I caught myself there before I did something stupid. Go ahead, just do that so I don't fall into a bottomless pit. I remember that that room up there is. Oh, wait, never mind. I have to go this way. Damn, I'm thinking Mega Man 4, where I can eat, where I can get Eddie up there for an E-Tank. Which, as you can probably suspect, Eddie's also back. Because, well, he was a he was a tradition that kid continued from Mega Man 4 all the way up to 6. He did show up in later Mega Man games after 6, but, well, he wasn't quite the same. May I'm not the broken thing that he was for 4 through 6, where you could basically grab yourself a free energy tank as long as you were patient enough to get one. So they made it so he would drop you random recovery items in the later games. Not quite as useful, but you know, in a pinch, he can be helpful. Wait! Oh! God damn, those platforms act like walls after a while, too. Don't you dare kill me! Trust you. Man, around like this in space is scary. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, that thing. Oh, I was going to challenge you to get that? Ow. Worth. Thank you. So now I got all the beat letters. Oh, I guess I won't actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I don't have it yet. I don't think they'll give it to me until after I beat the stage. Yep. I won't let you get me. The funny thing is that the four letters in these first four stages are optional, because they get you something useful. Here's the fun thing. The next four stages, hey, guess what? They got letters there, too, but here's the thing. If you want to get to the end of the game, you're going to have to get the find the next four letters. So, yeah. Warm up with these first four stages, because, well, they get much more difficult later. Oh, this mini-boss. 
Oh god, this one. Much worse than its NES counterpart, but... Ooh, that thing can be a dick. It's invincible, it has rings around itself, and then when it's... When it is actually able to be hurt, it fires rings at you from all directions! From where it is. Oh, God, such an asshole. As long as you don't jump into your... Jump into pain like an idiot, though, you're probably fine. Like I said, it's much more tame than the Game Boy version. Which is something I definitely appreciate. Haha! -ha! No, the P chip! No! Oh, God. Whoa! Yikes! Trying to die, you moron! Wow! How about cutting it close? My god, dude! Oh, the shorter the bridge is, the short amount of time it takes for it to recharge and all that. So, you know. Plan your route carefully. No! Thankfully, a simple jump could be enough to keep you alive. But, well, sometimes it might not be enough. Hip! Good, now I'm finding a lot of pea chips. Good thing is, they don't introduce new items in the uh, shop for the second half of the game, so, you know. They don't throw any additional surprises like, Hey, it's a good thing you saved those pea chips, now you get this thing really easily! Oh, that's right, now I remember. So I have the letters for B-E-A-T, I have to go to Dr. Light, and he will give me the thing to buy the part for free. Yeah, that's how it works. I assemble the pieces, I can buy them for free. I wonder if you have to pay to buy them if you don't find all the letters. Because remember, once you go to the once you go to the mid-game stage from here, you can't go back to the first floor. So you know, if you want to get this thing, I guess for free. I don't know if you have to pay for it afterwards. You might just miss out all together, all together. But to be safe, find all the letters. Because well, if you go to the second half without it, you're missing out. So you know, you're better off finding them. Anyway, it's time for Ringman! Oh, this guy's a dick! He runs fast, and well, fires rings like crazy. The funny thing is, the description for him is that he was designed to kill Mega Man. He was like an unintentional Mega Man killer in the main series. But, well, time to make an absolute joke out of him. Hey, I got a big ball of fun for you. Eat this. Oh, yeah? Think so cool, huh? Yeah, by the way, Feral Shot has its full power if you actually fire it and don't just hold it. Die already! Good lord! I got lazy! Yikes. That was close. Damn you, ring man. So yeah, he runs fast and throws rings. His pattern may be predictable, but his running can definitely catch you off guard. So keep moving, and make sure you can keep hitting him before he runs into you. He's a tough one as well. I said, maybe at four is hard. Wait, with that, we have his ring boomerang, which is also very useful. He actually used to grab things through walls, I believe. And well, since I assembled all four of the beat parts, by the power of B E A and T, I got beat! It's a little thing that can basically follow you around and peg some other enemies along the way. Basically, it's a good thing to attack enemies that you don't have to shoot. It's more useful in Mega Man 5, but it can work in this game, too. How many P-chips do I have? Only 58. God damn it! Oh, you summoned beat! Whoa, look at you, Mr. Hotshot! Get you- you and that board get out of here! I go back, I'm making this porn robot. Oh, God. Anyway, we have Wily standing here, expecting us, huh? I'll take you on. If I remember, this stage is actually be a little tough, too. Hey, <laughs> about time, Mega Man! Come and get me! <laughs> so where am I going to fight you now, you sack of shit? Look, they even have, like, actual, like, fun cutscenes in the middle of this, too. Like, I feel like we're actually seeing story unfold on, like, pretty much all the NES Mega Man ones where you just go from place to place. This one actually has, a, has like, a cinematic feel. Like, they really put a lot into these later Game Boy ones. They really did. Oh my god, it's a little Wily Fortress! It's a Wily Tank! Oh god! Look out, Mega Man! Whoa! Hey! Hey! Back off! 
What'd you hit me with? Holy shit! Screw you, dude! What are you hitting him with? That's doing all that damage. I wish I got to take part of that battle, but no. How did he kill him from all the way out there? What the hell? Oh yeah, we have another little boss here. God damn it. Hmm. Is Ring Boomerang strong against this thing? No. Let's try Pharaoh Shot. Let's try it at least. Oh yeah, Pharaoh Shot this weakness. I can tell it was closed up immediately too. The cool thing is you can hold the Pharaoh Shot while you move around. Like an old charge shot. Just a matter of fire to make the most use out of it. You gonna fire roll around again? Yeah, I figured as such. Damn it, I wasted the shot. So this thing's pretty easy. Just dodge away moves and walk down for a territory ball as you got him. It's actually really easy. There we go! Now we can enter the tank for real. Yeah, let's go now! Because, well, I think I remember how this whole thing plays out. What are the first really hard stage of the game? Unless it's just the boss. Oh, no, it's a straight-up stage. Yeah, get used to these, by the way. You have these little things to shoot down. Which, uh, don't be near them. When they explode, they'll hurt you, too. And the thing that sucks, you're going to need to be able to learn to shoot them in order to get around the level, too. Hello, M Wily. So you've come, huh? I've got something to show you if you're willing to follow me. I'm gonna get you, Wily! Good luck with that! Hey! Get away from him! Not another one! Well, here we go! Time to battle Ballade! Which, well... He's pretty strong. He's got a more unpredictable pattern than the previous robot... Kill Mega Man killers you faced, so he's actually a bit of a ow, tougher adversary. If you feel like you have to use an E-Tech to spot how short the stage is, you might want to. Just remember, don't get careless around these bombs like I just did at the beginning of the stage and killing myself basically early on. But yeah, Ballet's kind of tough. I don't think he's still quite as tough as Punk, but he's pretty close. Good, I can run through without getting attacked by that asshole. I'm trying to think. Were these Mega Man Killers like named off like music things? Because that's the case, I don't know what the hell Anchor is. I know what punk is, that's a genre. The ballad. Oh, wait, I'm thinking ballad. I think I'm speaking out of my ass. And I also do not believe, like most Mega Man Killers, like all the other Mega Man Killers, I do not think he has a weakness. So, well, fight hard. Hang on, what are my E tanks like? I have two. Probably could get away with using one if I needed to. I'll go through one set of lives and see how it goes. I should be able to figure him out. He stops a good bit, so you can't actually hit him. It's just, well, you gotta watch out for his running and jumping. You gotta wait to see if he's gonna run or jump and then dodge accordingly. If he runs, jump over him. If he jumps, slide under him. Ugh. Damn it. God damn it, can you stop moving where I'm going? Ugh. He fires little bombs, too. I think the bombs aren't that hard to avoid. I nearly killed you, Ballade. How'd that feel? He run off! Ooh, that smart son of a bitch! It's like he knew he was gonna get destroyed. So, yep, you defeat him, and, well, we don't need to go to Wright's lab. You have the Mega Man 5 Robot Masters next. So yep, we got Mega Man 5 territory. We're gonna fight Crystal Man, Napalm Man, Stone Man, and Charge Man. And you look so stupid! Yeah. Like, if you can't tell, Mega Man 5 NES is not one of my preferred ones. In fact, it's probably my least favorite of the main series. Now, don't get me wrong, there's still some fun in it, but eh. Just comparison to all the others, it feels boring. 
And these levels are definitely easier than the Mega Man 4 levels that are in this game, so... Yeah, this will be a quicker ride, although probably still not painless. Looking at you, Stone Man. Your level can suck a dick, if I remember. But anyway, come back next time. We'll take on more Robot Masters and chase down Valley again since he actually decided to be smart and live. Damn! Wild actually put some common sense in this one. That automatically makes it the most deadly one yet. <laughs>